Hello and welcome to Real Hi-Fi Help. Let's have a look at Verity Fidelio Encore speakers. So I still have this set of speakers and just an awesome speaker. Um, generally Verity as, as an audio brand, very underrated. Not a lot of people reviewing it. A lot of people are kind of, I wouldn't say afraid of the brand because of the, the, the steep prices that they have, but I just feel that, especially in the US, um, kind of blind to this brand that's just so much better than, you know, all the usual brands, you know, JBL, um, Klipsch. Even a lot of those uh, Fenderstein speakers, and uh, we got the Elax, we got um, all of those, you know, US based speakers that I just feel like, why aren't they mentioning Verity? You know, nobody's really mentioning Verity. It's, it's like an ex exclusive brand for people that have um, just a lot more money. And I feel that it just doesn't get the recognition that it that it needs to um, in this world. So I bought it, and um, I've owned it for about six years now. And somehow, even though I'm not using it, I just can't get rid of the sound. You know, there's there's something about about the Verity sound that almost feels like really close to my heart. Um, the Fidelio is, of course, one of those speakers with a lot of potential that, as a standard speaker, you don't fully get that. You know, you kind of have to modify it, as my friend did for me. But I feel that once you get into these Verity, Lenore, Parsifal, Sarasto, at least, and Amadeus speakers, they're just so much better than the usual stuff. And I feel that people just usually gravitate towards Focal, um, what's that speaker brand called, Sonos Faber. Um, and they also make like pretty good, decent speakers, but I just feel that Verity just has that, that edge, you know, um, more refined, more mi minimalistic, more of a, um, just, just better in, in many ways, but um let me see where where do i start back when this thing was new this fidelio speaker was new i think it cost like seven thousand two hundred canadian dollars and um in my country at that time the price was more around twenty five thousand us dollars for a short time so that kind of shows you where um when you want an an exclusive speakers a uh, speaker in in other, in other parts of the world where you know speakers generally cost a lot more you just end up paying a hell of a lot more and i think that people around the us and and especially canada they should not take the speaker for granted because i i i suspect that people especially around canada can can get this much cheaper because i think that still produced in in canada and they're not big speakers they don't have big drivers and i know that that's a popular thing because when you get big drivers you get this thumpiness in the sound you know and it's usually a bit better at playing you know the the grotesque music you know the the primitive rock and punk and metal and, and stuff like that you know where there's a bit more walloping type of, of bass but I feel that if you can just get a bit past that and get into this type of sound that you then you're just getting a lot more layering a lot more deep detail a lot more liveliness so I feel that if you have like a smallish type of room starting from around 15 square meters going up to typically around 30 uh, square meters, perhaps 35, I feel that most of these um, Verity speakers would just fit really, really well. And they just, they just have this way of, of throwing this 3D image 
on the wall because of the backfiring base port. And I feel that that's one of the, the, the biggest things that separates that Verity sound from all the other speakers that you can do that. With the olden um, Parsifal speaker, you could actually turn it around so you could have the bass port flying, uh, you know, sound waves going towards you. And 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 a normal, you know, height wise, this this speaker isn't very tall and not very heavy. So if you're like six foot one, it would go up to around your belly button, the top part here, just so you know how big it is. So it isn't really that big. And, it, and not really that deep. I think it's only like 25, 30 uh, centimeters. So you won't get like the, the deepest deep bass, but um, very practical speaker, you know. And not only does it look good and, and it's easy to move and, and works on pretty much a, a lot of gear, even though it's it's quite heavy to, to drive and still quite light. Um, very good start at sniffing just that that top end sound that typically is in the you know 20 30 40 50 thousand dollar category and um i wouldn't be surprised if you to this day could could uh, get a, a set of speakers like this for only um three four five thousand dollars and that, that's very cheap, that's very cheap. But I would suggest, if it's possible, getting the two or three model bigger version, which is either the uh, uh, the Parsifal, um, which just is better in every way, or um, getting the Lenore. I, I feel that the Lenore is... Um, I feel in a way it's better because it's just more majestic. It 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 it's more fine. Um, so yeah, it, it, I really recommend that, and I'm also going to put out a, a review on, on that speaker. So you also have to know that generally with uh, Verity speakers, when when you have this combination of Bob Carver 180 monoblocks and Audio Note M3 preamplifier, that's just like that's just so heavenly good. And if you can't get that, that more organic pres presentation, you can go for a more analytical sound that is also crazy good in a very, very different way, where it's more about the, you know, you know the, 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 the detail itself. Then it's uh, Negra VPA monoblocks. I also heard that a couple of times, and that was just crazy, crazy good. And what i did what i got my friend to do was just modify the the mid-range of, of the speaker so that he took it out replaced a capacitor or two and put some better cable in it and yeah it, it made it turned it into a very different speaker where you got a lot more clarity a lot more um openness a lot more free sound and, and I feel that, that there was still room for improving the sound, you know. Ideally, I would have taken this this and that driver out and replaced all the uh, the cabling with Audio Note Silver, you know. I, I'm pretty sure that that would have improved the sound a lot and then removed the uh, the various speaker terminals and, and again, you know, put something like Audio Note Onkaku uh, terminals on it. I'm pretty sure that that would have made the sound a hell of a lot better, you know. And I've, I was even looking into, at one time, getting my friend to melt some dual on uh, silver wire, you know, and, and, and what do you call these things at the bottom that, that drive the filter? Um, you know, that, that, that wired uh, thingy, what the hell do you call that? Uh, spoiler, what, what do you call that in English? I think it's called wine coils or something like that. I was looking into getting that in, in dual on silver to make the sound just a lot more better. But still, that that was at a ridiculous price. Then we had to get that custom made. That, that would have cost <laughs> almost about half the, the price of the speaker, just, just getting that done. That would have been cool to, to try and do that. Mm, but we did manage modifying this, getting it closer, a lot closer to the Verity Sarastro. 
sound. And you ha I have to say that Veritas Rastro is one of the very, very best speakers in the world. Uh, ridiculously good. So, I mean, with Verity, it's all about the life, the detail, the movement, the drama. You get a sound that is transparent, it's fast, but it's it's not just all of these things in, in like, a, like, like a lower level or medium level. It's, it's, it's at a pretty high level. Um, and yeah, I, I have heard certain few models that aren't Verity, you know, other exclusive brands, but they usually... That, that 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 are better in almost every aspect but then we're talking about a whole other price category then we're talking usually about the the 50 to 150 thousand dollar class i mean the, you can of course get stuff like peak consults which easily beats a lot of the uh, the lower model uh, verity speakers but usually also at a completely different price you know and of course, you, you can easily beat a Verity speaker when you have a cabinet that's twice as big, twice as heavy, and units that probably weigh twice as much. Um, but but again, you know, when you have to pay two, three, four, five times more, can you really compare that to 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 that brand? You know, I, I don't think you really can. So um, I was also able to for for a short while to get away with listening to the speaker in an almost 50 square meter room on an uh, audio note auto amplifier which is just ridiculous you know it shouldn't be possible but i got pretty much away with it but i could hear that it was nearly as good a a, a fit as the bob carve 180 monoblocks together with the audio note preamp just just wasn't close to that you know the, this was a lot better uh, way of applying power to that speaker and uh, even though it's a very efficient speaker you can still dump a lot of power into them and play them at very high volumes um, that that was really surprising you know there there is surprisingly a lot of, of thump in that seven inch driver at the back and, and I have to say that for some people they won't like having a speaker that has a very excited five inch middle range uh, driver you know it, it can get very excited and and i almost always had the um the grill on you know the uh, the filter on i felt that with this speaker especially since it got uh, modified that it had to be on for it to to seem more natural whereas when you're going up in the models the sound gets more beefier more solid and you can get away with you know removing this the, the this thing and, and it actually looked quite good but yeah i wish i got the uh, the lenore the, Le the lenore was almost two times better than than this um not having having uh, modified it at all so um really good start at at hi-fi i wish that a lot of people would just you know get rid of all of this um, hi-fi speaker rubbish that's on the market all of these old uh, speakers that are 20 30 40 years old that are like x low mid and even high models uh, from all types of brands i wish that they would just like like throw them in the rubbish you know and, and we would start all over with sound like this 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 just sounds awesome um so what was it that i wanted to mention um yeah i, I just kind of wish i still had you know been able to get the verity lenore instead of this because um that was actually the first uh, verity speaker that i heard at my friend's place and just beautiful majestic more balanced more evolved um less of a strainy type of sound could could play a bit louder um and could just fill a, a bigger room up without having to try as much and the most important thing is that it was uh, 93 db where this was uh, 88 and that's a big difference between those two you know here you only have to unload like 10 
to 20 watts to to kind of fully control a sound whereas um when you're in this 88 uh, level you know a normal 88 you usually have to i don't know use more like 30 watts to control a speaker fully or more sometimes even 50 or more class a and um that would have helped and, and and again it would have looked just a lot more better uh the lenore speaker so i think that if you get this speaker just be aware that it can sound very different compared to how uh, close you have it to the back wall to the side walls and know this they react extremely good on inner walls and uh, i've done some videos about that so that's basically just where you take like a box here you, this could be like a box or a piece of furniture like this and you just have this you know supporting the speaker at the side at, at the inner side so all the the bass firing that goes on here at the wall it gets reflected in a natural way and it kind of isolates the bass in a more natural way so if there wasn't anything here it would thin out the sound and and what that means is that not only would it thin out the bass it would thin out the uh, the mid-range and you don't want to thin out the mid-range of a verity speaker because they're already a bit on the thinnish side in in my opinion so um, if you could get like a supporting um, ikea uh, turntable box or whatever it's called like a three five dollar one you know where you put your records in like stack them up like two or three here at the, at the inner side of, of your sound system that could really help a lot with stabilizing the treble the mid-range and isolating the the bass so you can easily turn up the volume a lot more so that the speaker doesn't have to strain quite as much so i, I just feel that 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 really helped me quite a bit and in my room you know what what he did here you know that that's almost perfect you know that distance to the back wall and i'm guessing the side wall is around over here and just perfect just perfect and and yeah for some rooms you i actually might want to put it just slightly closer here and slightly closer to the side and maybe have that side box as i was telling you guys about and it could just make uh, for example transistor sound sounds so much more like tube in a good way you know so it's that it's that passion that energy that drama that crazy detail and the layering you just don't get 3d and layering like this with many speakers of course there are individual speakers in the world like for example for cal and sonos faber but they usually also are at the ra around the same price range or even a, a lot more expensive sometimes so i just feel that if you can find a speaker like this and then get it upgraded or perhaps go for the better uh, Parsifal, which is basically this speaker just with a lot more meat and stability. Um, go with that instead. You know that that's still a very good speaker, even though it's about twenty years old. That design, the original Verity Parsifal. I can't remember if it's called Encore or Ovation. Um, damn good speaker. You know, a bit more on the meaty side a bit more reserved where this one is a bit more free when you modify it but you can also modify the uh the parsifal one that that would be really good and and the great thing about the parsifal is that at the back side you, you have this these these double terminals so you can actually you know get rid of those uh, connectors that are at the back and just run like a single wire speaker cable here and then like an extra one on top of those uh, at the other side of the terminals it could uh, it could really help make the uh, the speaker feel as if it's twice as big so yeah those are my considerations and um awesome brand really awesome brand that i think that we should just generally talk about more in the hi-fi world so i would like to see channels like that you know steven good uh Gutenberg, dark or british audiophile uh zero fidelity uh, what was it called yeah zero fidelity new record day uh thomas and stereo all of these channels why 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 aren't they covering 
Verity Fidelio speakers. I know that they're big. I know that they come in these flight cases. I know that they probably all live in, in flats that can't that can't store these. I know that that's that's the big problem. I know. I know. I know. Uh, I mean, with these small speakers that only go up to my belly button, I have flight cases for them that are like two and a half times, you know, uh, bigger. So I get that. I fully understand that, but I just feel that we, we have to go away from, you know, normal book stand, um, I wouldn't say normal, but just book stand speaker generally, and then more over to this type of sound, where I feel that it, it's, it's a huge step towards those fully, you know, functional floor standing speakers that are just in a totally different league of, of, of sound. So I wish that more people would, would, would cover these, not not just for us few audiophiles that go to these special shows like Rocky Mo Mountain High or, you know, the Bayern, Bayern Munchen uh, um, audio show. Um, so yeah, very good speaker, very good brand. And that's me logging off. Like and subscribe if you can. Bye.